Welcome back to Paulie TV for this highlight show. I'm your commentator, Robert Blanche. Paulie and I are here at Elder Oval for this Capital One Round 3 clash between Anley FC and Knights. Brisbane Knights. Anley coach Russell Mapri will be hoping his side can continue their early season form, even though they've played three games in six days. The same case for Knights coach Matthew Rorb, as his side have been under a very intense start to the season. The officials for tonight's match are referee Drew Ninnis and his assistant referees Craig Swale and James Brady. Ball out from the back. Callaghan, good touch, good beat, still going. Overlapping run on the outside, points, he knows where he wants it, gets it straight back, drives it across Romano, shoots straight at Sutherland. Knights look the play out. Again, out for Callaghan, really use his pace. Yes, he will. He's in behind, puts it across, Cochran away. Romano first time. Perez Vargas puts it in the back of the net to make it one in the third minute. Let's have a look. Ball played in the feet. First time from Romano. Perez Vargas waits for it to settle. Drives it. Sutherland, no chance. Great diagonal ball from Beck. Callaghan. Held up well. Loses out, no, still going. Ball delivered into the box. Perez dispossessed. Oh, ball given away cheaply in the middle of the park. Once again, Callaghan, he's been busy. Puts the foot down. Drives it across! Perez couldn't get a touch at the back post. Good switch of play. Lindsley, cross! Klassen with the header off the base of the post! Good defending, good strong defending. Oh, Klassen with a tackle, picks up a free kick. O'Brien goes down, solid challenge. His brother, James O'Brien, into the box. And the shot comes in. Gibbons picks it up. O'Brien forward. For his brother. Oh, ball. Was he outside the box? Referee says yes. Goalkeeper's not happy. Claims he's dropped it before he's crossed the line. Let's have a look at the replay. Card's been shown. Let's have a look. Takes one step. He's over the line. Referee's got it right. Shot from out wide, off the post. Keeper beaten. Ball up the park. Klassen. Somehow he's still got it. Oh, great ball. O'Brien, one on one. Gibbons comes out, good save. Still looking for it, and again a double save. Fernandez makes sure of it and puts it out for a corner. Oh, glorious diagonal ball. McGarry. Looks to take on Fernandez and does. Drives it across. Glasson can't get ahead on it at the fast stick. Lebresic. Middle of the park. Step over. Still going. Still got control. Loses out. First time ball out wide, Callaghan in behind to the goal line, cuts it back, oh, off Sutherland, oh, the deflection of Perez out for a goal kick. Oh, given away cheaply, Messer, centre of the park, gets it out wide early, Klassen, will he take his defender on, yes he will. Gets to the goal line, cuts it back, O'Brien slides it under Gibbons and makes it one all in the 41st minute. Let's have a look. 
Klassen uses his pace. The head went up, he put it across. Perfect ball, perfect finish. All equal. Fernandez gets it back. Looking for options, slides it forward. Mears, will Mears get there? Yes, he will. He gets a toe on it, forces it past Sutherland and regains the Knights' lead in the 44th minute. Let's have a look. It's a great ball into the channel. Cochran, I think, was thinking his keeper was coming. Keeper thought he had it. Mears says, no, it's mine. It's 2-1. Switch of play. Good control on the far side. Ball forward. O'Brien cuts it across. Messer, one on one! Oh, good save with his feet by Gibbons to deny the midfielder from Annerley. Throw in. Given away by O'Brien. Up up by Callaghan. Good interception. McGarry. Great cross field ball. Klassen hits it off that crossbar. I think it's taken a touch off Gibbons and out for a corner. Given away. Beck up the park. Scrappy here in the second half. Reed forward. Knotted on. Perez. Oh, Sutherland hasn't held. Gets it on the second attempt at the feet. Reed. Callaghan. Goes down, free kick I would suggest. Maybe a yellow card. Yes, here comes the card, the Savage. Reed delivers. Callaghan, touch, or better second touch, and puts it in the back of the net to make it 3-1 in the 64th minute. A oh, great goal from the wide man from the Knights. Ball in. Bounces just in front of him. Good first touch, better second touch. Gets off the ground, drives it past Sutherland, gives him no chance. Ball delivered. Beck with the defensive header. Annerley still have it. Out wide. Cleared. Ooh, Callaghan with a rash challenge on O'Brien. We go in the book for this one, I think. And does. Ball up the park. Mears strong. Savage in there. Wins it back. Lays it back for Sutherland. Great ball out. No, cut out. Knights on the counter. Callaghan still going. Pulls the trigger, Sutherland! Full stretch to his left and out for a corner. Anley, quick break. Ball forward. Toller. Inside, goes down. Whistle's gone. Outside the box, looks like it, yes. We'll have to have a look at that again. It's both going for the ball. He's got his, defender's got his foot on the ball. McGarry over the free kick, drives it in, it's past everyone and out for a goal kick. Mingotti strong, gets his head up, looks to switch the play, easily cut out. Perez board for Beck, Beck in space, puts it for Mears and the free flag's gone up, it won't count. Oh, that must have been awfully tight. Let's have a look. Oh, he's level at least. Knights lose another one. Headers away. Ball anywhere at this stage. Anley on a full press at the moment. Everyone forward. Ball into the box. Messer heads it back across Gibbons and makes it 3-2 in the 83rd minute. Let's have a look. It's a good ball in. Messer gets the front position. Heads it back the other way. Gives the keeper no chance. 
ball forward, cut out. Vibesic up the park. Beck chasing, oh, goes down. Is it cramp or is it a hamstring? Referee's blown up. Call for the trainer. Late in the match, long throw. Out for a corner, yes. Delivered in. And the shot, oh, over the bar. Again, corner from the other side. Annerley throwing everything, Mengotti. And that's the final whistle, which sees this Capital One match and Annerley FC 2, Brisbane Knights 3. A 3-2 loss, but a game of football which could have gone either way. You hit the crossbar a couple of times, woodwork, one-on-ones. That's the part that probably hurts more than anything, is you had the opportunity to win this game tonight. Yeah, I agree. I think we, we didn't take our chances in the first half. We had, As you said, we had plenty of opportunities. The one-on-one -on -one certainly hurt. The crossbars, well, there were opportunities. Second, uh, at halftime, we spoke about that and wanted to come out strong. And to be honest, uh, Knights came out just as strong in the second half. So these are the sort of ones you've got to win when you've got the opportunity. And we didn't, and, and they did. It was as simple as that. It was end-to-end -end for the first five or so minutes. Um, they got an early goal. It always puts you on the back foot. And some of the plans, obviously, that the side would have had for the game go out the window. Yeah, well, that, that's that's exactly right. Um, we, we try and put more emphasis on getting the ball when we, or putting more pressure on when we don't have the ball. And when it becomes that fast pace, it kind of thro throws it out the window, as you say. And look, it's, it's something we've got to work on on training and, and keep our composure and learn to put teams to bed when we have the opportunities, because uh, these are the ones that can miss out on getting your goals at the end of the season. You touched on the pace of the game. That's the one thing I noticed. Uh, it was very phonetic. It was on the go for the whole 90 minutes, which is surprising considering your workload over the last well, six days. It's three games. Yeah, well, as you say, starting that early with three games in six days is very, very difficult. So I made sure we did a pool recovery session on Thursday instead of a training session. The boys were struggling. I had quite a few niggling injuries going into it. We had three or four key players not playing today. And, and look, they've dug deep and they deserve to have the rest of the weekend off. And hopefully next week against the Grange, we can come out strong and get back to where we need to be. Off the field, though, the club is going forward as well as on the field uh, with the Australian Institute of Applied Sciences uh, coming on board as a major sponsor. Yeah, I mean, we're very lucky to get such a, a reputable company to help us out. They, I mean, this club doesn't have money, we don't pay players, so any bit of sponsorship certainly helps and it goes back into the club. And to have a company like this, well, you know, it's, it's a godsend for us and we're absolutely blessed. Started off very, very quick, the game, scored early, over the course of the match, had lots of opportunities, but the pace of the game was something that I noticed was very, very quick, um, and I suppose you were in the same boat as Annerley, three games in six days to start a season is hard yards. It is, it is, and um, the boys struggled, and we had a few go, go down with injuries, that sort of stuff, which made it even harder. We lost one player in the first ten minutes, so... Yeah, it was tough. There's a big field out there too, so the boys dug in deep, and which is a good result. Played some very good football as well. Uh, looked to play football, played smart football at times, and at other times did what was needed. And to be fair, in Cap 1, that's just about what you have to do to win a lot of matches. We did play some football. I think we've got a lot more improvement in this. Um, but we dug in deep, you know, especially at the end. I think we finished with basically nine players. So, you know, the boys deserve the result in the end. Elder Oval, never an easy place to come. Friday nights is always a bit of a struggle for some players working and then getting to the game on time. Looks good for the Knights in 2015. Uh, you guys are looking like you, you could be there or thereabouts come finals time. Yeah, that's, that's our aim is top four. First aim is to consolidate, make sure we stay, don't go straight back down and then we'll, we'll push on from there for the top four.